other patterns of inheritance. What happens if one allele is not completely dominant over another? What if a gene has several alleles? Mendel's principles offer a set of rules with which to predict various patterns of inheritance. There are exceptions to every rule and exceptions to the exceptions. This flower is white, white alleles and red, red alleles. And when they are mixed, they're pink, red, white, red, white. So they're all pink. What are some exceptions? Some alleles are neither dominant nor recessive. Many genes exist in several different forms and are therefore said to have multiple alleles. Many traits are produced by the interaction of several genes. Despite the importance of Mendel's work, there are important exceptions to most of his principles. In most organisms, genetics is more complicated because the majority of genes have more than two alleles. In addition, many important traits are controlled by more than one gene. Mendel's principles alone cannot predict traits that are controlled by multiple alleles or multiple genes. So is this genetics? A cross between two four o'clock plants is an example of a common exception to Mendel's principles. The F1 generation produced by a cross between red flowers, dominant R, dominant R, and white flowers, dominant white, dominant white, and mixed between these plants consists of pink flowers, dominant R, dominant white, as shown. In this case, neither allele is dominant. Cases in which one allele is not completely dominant over the other is called incomplete dominance. In incomplete dominance, the heterozygous phenotype lies somewhere between the two homozygous phenotypes. The red flower, capital R, capital R, white flower, capital W, capital W, mix to create capital R, capital W, pink. The capital W, capital W, white, capital B, capital B, brown, mix to create capital B, capital W, tan. Cases in which the phenotypes produced by both alleles are completely expressed are called codominance. For example, in certain varieties of chickens, the allele for black feathers is codominant with the allele for white feathers. Heterozygous chickens are speckled with black and white feathers. They are ermanet chickens. This is an example of codominance. It's not pink, but red and white. The codominance, white, brown, and white and brown in places. Another codominance, tabby and black. A single gene can have many possible alleles. A gene with more than two alleles is said to have multiple alleles. Many genes have multiple alleles, including the human gene for blood type. This chart shows the percentage of US population that share each blood group. There's O positive, A positive, most common two types, and the rarest, AB negative. Traits controlled by two or more genes are said to be polygenic traits. Polygenic means many genes. Polygenic traits often show a wide variety of phenotypes. The variety of skin color in humans comes about partly because more than four types of genes probably control this trait. Similarly with eye color, there are multiple colors, multiple patterns, clearly more than two genes. Does the environment have a role in how genes determine traits? Environmental conditions can affect gene expression and influence genetically determined traits. The characteristics of any organisms are not determined solely by the genes that organism inherits. Genes provide a plan for development, but how that plan unfolds also depends on the environment. The phenotype of an organism is only mostly determined by its genotype. We saw this exception with Mendel's pea plants as an underfed short plant could have a tall allele. 
Consider the western white butterfly. Western white butterflies that hatch in the summer have different color patterns on their wings than those hatching in the spring. Scientific studies reveal that butterflies hatching in the springtime had greater levels of pigment in their wings than those hatching in the summer. In other words, the environment in which the butterfly develops influences the expression of their genes for wing coloration. Also the case for the buckeye butterfly shown. In order to fly effectively, the body temperature in the western white butterfly needs to be 28 to 40 degrees Celsius. More pigmentation allows a butterfly to reach the warm body temperature faster. Similarly, in hot summer months, less pigment prevents the butterfly from overheating. So what triggers this useful difference in color? 